retail store action. I want to start this video off by thanking everybody for watching these retail store videos. That you're the only reason they're possible. If you didn't watch, it wouldn't be possible. I appreciate you generating that ad revenue for me. I've been keeping this lock locked in the unlocked position, but it catches up there. So I'm actually gonna take it out right now. I've got a bunch of stuff here. 32, two, oops, 22. I think all that up there. I should just get some tin snips, but I don't wanna damage the property, so. This whole pile got another load here for those of you that haven't seen this these videos before this is the curb retail store it's mostly dumpster dive swag i put in here people come get it for free and in return i make videos about it and generate ad revenue and that's how i make the money plus i got tip jar over here over here we've got united states uh i'll give directions at the end of the video, I'll insert a clip showing directions off Interstate 49. That's just a few minutes off the exit, exit uh, 69, Johnson Mill Boulevard. We've got Washington, that's a long ways away. Georgia, Florida, Missouri, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Texas. We had someone from Alabama a long time ago, but they didn't draw interstate. I hadn't really got this part going yet. And there's, there's a toothbrush, soft, Oral-B, sealed up, got a badminton racket, who doesn't need a badminton racket? A couple of canvases, people often say they can reuse these canvases, so there's a couple of those. Milk crate action, milk crate action, and milk crate action, Highland. Highland, Highland, all three of them. Those will come in handy. I've got hard hat. I think this is from a utility company. Looks usable. Oh, I didn't mention this Wii platform. That's a Wii, Wii video game platform. It's missing the battery cover. I don't know if it works or not. I would take it to a used video game store, but. They uh, usually will need the bat, like the battery cover and the cords or the you know the rest of the accessories. Oh well, I don't even know if it works. So there it goes. That's why I don't like to sell stuff like that on eBay. You know, I don't know if it works or not. Let's just just eliminate any hassle. Here's a blood pressure pump that needs to be cleaned up, wiped off. But that might be. Uh, pretty good deal I said red blood pressure pump blood pressure gauge I guess that might be real handy for the right person it definitely works I don't know about the electronics probably battery operated it's got an eye bolt in it I don't even try it I'll see oh shoot the thing's powered up and everything anyways it needs to be cleaned off I don't put anything nasty in here. I could miss something, I suppose, but everything in here is basically going to be in really, really nice condition. There's the Mexican produce crate. You can get five, seven bucks at a garage sale or something for that. And then, uh, let's see, got some clothes. I'm just going to throw these clothes down on the ground for now. Oh, shoot, that's that polo. <laughs> I was going to keep that for myself. Uh, this little work shirt. It's got a little hole in the back. There's another polo in here too. I didn't mean to bring. I want to get out of here. Camouflage pants. Look at it. Those are in really nice condition. Let's see a size. I don't want to take up a whole lot of time. Looking for sizes on clothes. I can bore people. Let me rip through these clothes and get some better stuff real quick. Real nice camouflage pants. Um, this little suitcase, it's like a salesman for Anderson Windows. It's a really nice bag though. 
brand new. It's never really been used. It's got some little window samples in there. I might want those little window samples for something. Or just throw them away or whatever. There it is. It actually locks. The numbers are set on 999, so you could probably lock it and use 999 for your combo, I guess. I don't know if there's a way to reset it or not. But uh, here's a little dog leash. These are nice. I, I don't like the ones that are, have the ribbon style. I like the ones that have the circular cord because these ribbons have a tendency to, to, uh, to stick when you get the leash all the way out. But anyways, it's functional. Works nice. Well, not as nice as a corded one, but here's some fashion jewelry. People like to take this stuff. I could put this in a big lot on eBay and sell it for pretty good money if I really wanted. But there's a little reward for people watching my videos. Appreciate it. Some pretty nice stuff, really. Oh, I didn't mean to put that in there. Oh, I'll leave that in there. A little padlock with keys. Huh. That actually works. <laughs> kind of neat. Just I'll leave that there. Okay. Let's take this toad in here. Okay, we've got a little uh, New Testament Psalm and Proverbs action. We've got some Adidas. Let me get the size on these. People like the size. If you want to buy something from my videos, my my uh, scavenger videos, or even my free tail store videos, the directions are down in the description. It's really easy how you can just buy stuff straight out of here. Just check out those directions. I need to start bringing my eyeglasses. I believe those are size five. Oh, Adidas. They're not bad. Not too bad. And then uh, I've got this little, I think that's like for some sort of Bluetooth speaker. Fugu. Fugo. Something like that. Fugu. Fugo. I'm not sure what that is exactly. But there it is. Oops. And then we've got a pair of Nikes. Nice little pair of Nikes. Uh, size something. <laughs> 7.5 Nike free those are not bad not bad at all of course up stuff you know needs to be cleaned up a little bit but it's not too bad not too bad now I've got these packs of batteries I could sell something like this on eBay but I don't know if they're if they're old and worn down you know so there it is I had a bunch more of these little alkaline batteries AG13 has the model number on those. And then we've got a brand new Croft and Borrow button type. Looks kind of like a button sweater. It's kind of thin. And I've got some light bulbs. I got light bulbs coming out of my ears. Light bulb action. Decent pair of long johns. The length is probably about a 30 on those, maybe 28. Maybe I'm gonna organize these clothes later. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Nice little tool, little saw. That's that's in really nice shape, actually. Uh -uh. Hasn't seen a lot of use. Put that dude back there. And we've got some polo cologne. I lost the cap off this other one, but uh, this sitting in storage getting cobwebs on it. Nice little polo is not bad. Got polo classic, polo rogue, uh, half full, third full, half full. About half full on each one of those. Put those guys there. Polo is pretty expensive stuff. And uh, let's see what we're dealing with in here. I'm not sure exactly what I put in here. Looks like a bunch of those blue jeans. Scored these blue jeans one night. Stuffed them in that backpack. Size, I need to bring my ring glasses, darn it. 16H. 
I'll put those over there. These are probably all from the same person. I don't know what that is. Like it's some kind of chalk or dust. The blue jeans are actually really nice. Vizio. So Vizio makes TVs and blue jeans. <laughs> I wonder if that's the same company. I doubt it. Same name. That's kind of odd though. That's a nice little jacket. Look at that. Columbia. Someone's going to come and get this right away. Really, really nice kids winter coat columbia size 10 12. that's made in portland oregon that's nice that columbia is a nice brand and oh yeah i remember i put that coat in this backpack to keep it clean this backpack is a nice little backpack it could be cleaned up a little. Looks like some school supplies were in the bottom of it. Oh, I don't got a brand name on that. Anyways, there it is. Definitely usable. Okie dokie. Got this little cheapo frisbee. That would be good for letting your dog rip it apart. That's why I saved it. Got that guy there. That's not probably a good idea. Okay, nice little sweatpants. Shoot, I was gonna keep those too, I think. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, free tailors. Keeping that Nike. Here's some Calvin Klein. Ladies, size 10. I guess that'd be youth 10, I guess. I don't know. Nice little Calvin Klein pants. I'm sure those aren't too cheap. And then uh, there's that other polo I was gonna take. No, it's not. That's a really good. I think that Fade of Glory is a Walmart brand. But I'll tell you what, that Fade of Glory, that's, that's a nice, nicely made sweat, sweater. I guess it's a sweater, sweatshirt style. That's a, I really like the, the dual, dual look collar. It's nice. That, the Fade of Glory is not a bad brand, I'll tell you what. I, I mistake it for polo before I see the symbol. Uh, Redhead shorts size tags ripped off i think they're about 34 36 wheeler fire department it's a local town around here extra large sweatshirt let me get to something besides clothes picture frame i know some people get bored with them clothes if i do it too long that, that could be somebody could do something with that little picture frame Maybe paint it up or something, add it into another one or something. Oh, pajamas. I'm gonna have to keep those for myself too, sorry. They're nice, I like the ankles on these ones. I got little elastic ankles. I like that. I've got a size 38 button down shirt. There's the other polo, that's right. I was thinking it was blue, oh, it's faded glass, because I've mistaked that faded glory before. Uh oh, it's got company. That's a polo shirt, it's inside out, so it might look kind of funky, but that's nice. Sorry, keeping that on. Chaps, size 38, 32. I think most of these shorts and pants are from maybe the same person. A lot of 36s, 38s, 34s. Uh, that's a 34 right there, um, which I might just keep for myself, except for I think it's too short. Nah, I'm not gonna keep those for myself. I'll keep everything, kind of defeats the purpose. <laughs> hey, everybody, look at other stuff I'm keeping for myself. I think that's a little hunting vest. That's kind of cheap looking. For a little kid, I think. Size XL, 2XL. That's weird. I 
can that be a 2XL? Oh, strange, maybe a little kid size. There's a nice little t shirt. Little ladies, University of Arkansas, Nike. Nike t shirt's nice. Everything's clean. Nice and clean. I mean, you need to wash it, of course, but we don't need to. But of course, you would wash it before you wear it, most likely. But that's a nice shirt there. Norm Thompson's. Extra large. Okay, we've got some paint. Unused paint dishes. These are nice. We've got one of those. We've got, one's, got, one's got the plastic insert. I like that plastic insert. So you don't so you don't get your pan dirty. That's kind of a good idea, what do you think? I'll put these dudes over here. No, we won't. I'll put these dudes over here. Where will we put them? Shade is causing me trouble. I think we'll put the shade on. Huh? It's good enough, I suppose. And then I've got this. I've got two of these with me tonight. I was thinking this one was bigger than that one, but they're actually the same height. This one's just got four little shelves in place of the two big ones. This one's got the wheels in it. You can put that on wheels if you want. Not too shabby. It's like 20 bucks at Walmart, 17.99 I think, last time I've seen it. Both of them are looking like they're unused. Both of them have the brand new stickers. I was thinking, yeah, I thought I put something in one of these. No wheels on the other one. Then I've got, I was gonna keep this bowl for myself. It's a nice little bowl, but I just keep, I can't keep too much stuff. Orange bowl by itself. Three little flower pots. One's got a crack in it. The cracks a little worse than I thought. Oh, it's a lot worse than I thought. First time I saw it. But there too. Look like they're in good shape. So they're like little Dollar General dealy bobs. That won't last long in here. Little motorcycle helmet. Actually, that just get rained on. It's got. A little mildew smell to it but that's not a bad helmet unfortunately like i said somehow it got rained on when it was in my storage unit it was a weird deal not this unit a different unit i don't know it just must have leaked in there perfectly but that's not a bad helmet it's got a little damage to it but uh size small it's a little one i'll leave it like this so air can get to it that visor Needs to do uh, I don't know. Visor's loose. That someone might be able to do something with it. Gold label button down. Extra large. Around the world, always something new. Pole and Bear Jeans Company. That's kind of neat. Extra large. This is a Nike golf shirt. If anyone out there golfs. This shows you how clean this stuff is. This is a white shirt. And there's not there's not a bit. Oh, there's a little bit of dust. It looks like it's from dust. And there in a fold. I can only see it under a bright spotlight. But that's a real nice Nike golf shirt. Someone see it. Some of this could be sellable. Nike golf shirt, a Columbia jacket or coat. You could probably easily sell that if you really wanted to. It's a neat little shirt here. Inside out, let's see what we're dealing with. Not bad, it's kind of neat. I've got these little jars or uh, little storage containers, those are nice little roosters on there. You think about that set of four of these, one of them's missing the lid. You have to move, Mr. Badminton. Badminton. Two more here like this. Those are nice. Large, small, medium, and in between, I guess. Let's see. I think these are two the same size actually. Yeah. Two of those. Large, medium, and two smalls. That lid was missing when I found it. There's actually some liquid I forgot to get out of there. 
just water. Put this guy like that. Get him dried out. Actually, I'll open all these. Okay. I was going to keep this for myself, but my cats have a habit of breaking stuff and knocking it over. And it's made out of glass. It's a nice little lamp. A desk lamp. I like those. They got that classy look to them. Uh, I think that was bent a little. Well, it's supposed to be like that, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Do something with that. You want to uh, make sure to inspect stuff like this if I put it in here. Make sure it's okay. That one looks like it's nice. Put that by the light bulbs. Towncraft 3830. Another ladies' t shirt. Well, I guess that's not ladies. I suppose it could be. Uh, Wash the ocean dried in the sun. Margaritaville t shirt. And then I guess another golf shirt, huh? Send. Looks like another golf shirt. Another backpack. This was really nice when I first found it. I kind of got it dirty in storage. Set stuff on top of it. This one had Bluetooth speakers in it. Or has. One of them looks like it's damaged, unfortunately. But, uh, it's definitely a usable backpack. I got it dirty. I got some rust on it or something from putting scrap on top of it. Anyways, there it is. Someone can maybe do something with that. And then I've got a little garden hoe. That's a nice little tool there. Put that in the tool section. Flower pot action. And I was going to take this to the scrapyard, but people like to make decorations out of this or racks or something. Someone could probably do something with that. It looks like a crafty little item. And as scrap prices today, that would only be about two cents. So we'll give this guy a chance. There he is. And then another crate, another produce crate from Mexico. These are really nice, handmade, real wood, nailed together. Nice and clean, both of them. And then I got this little aluminum box. I think it's pretty old. I didn't notice that. It's got someone's S R A, someone's initials, I think. That's interesting. It's been around, I can tell you that. It's got some letters on the inside. I wonder if someone made that. I wonder if that's homemade. It's got letters on the inside of the aluminum panels. It's all aluminum, except for the hinges and the lock. But the uh, Shoot, I bet that almost looks like it's homemade. You know what? That's probably a nice little, nice little thing. That might have some value to it, actually. I suppose it could have been made in a factory, but... There's the guy. I've got a whole... Well, wait a second. A little stereo antenna. Come in handy. Put this guy over here. And I've got this uh, thing of mason jars, including a wood ca wood crate for them. It's kind of nice. I've never really seen a wood crate like that. A dozen mason jars and a wood crate. I was going to keep this one for myself, I think. Atlas Strong Shoulder Mason. Well, I can't go around keeping everything. Gotta get rid of stuff. Constantly get rid of stuff. But I've never seen one like that before. Atlas Strong Shoulder Mason, round one. Like I say, if you want to buy stuff, directions down in the description. It's real easy. Ball Mason, Kerr Masons. I don't know if I've ever seen an Atlas. I'm no pro at that kind of stuff, but I just got some liquid in it. This 
smells like a grasshopper. <laughs> Actually, it looked like grasshopper juice too. The brown stuff is weird looking. Oh. I'm gonna put that upside down, let him dry out. I think somehow it's got rain, rain water in it. One way or the other. But, uh, let these guys dry up. Okay, now we're cooking. So like if you wanted to buy like this, like, like if you see something that's valuable and I don't know, you want to buy it, just look in them descriptions, look in the description down there for the directions. Okay, oh, Easter egg action. A dozen little plastic Easter egg containers. Get them guys over here. And then uh, I think that's going to wrap it up. Oh, TV. This actually was a lot nicer before I dropped it. <laughs> oh, I had a couple pins too. I have a Superman pin around here somewhere. I must have got stuck in the clothes. Some Batman pin. I dropped it and busted off the plastic off the side. So it's kind of a bummer. But I'll see if someone wants to take these. Um, I scratched up the screen too. Dang it. It looked like the screen was good. That's why I took it. But I'll see if these disappear from the Freetail store. These TVs. And uh, I know some people enjoy scrapping stuff like that. And sitting down. Even for like a little hobby. A lot of people think it's fun and enjoyable and relaxable. There's actually some decent circuit boards in there. Not anything special, but the newer the TV, the cheaper the circuit boards will be. But, but uh, some people will sell the circuit boards out of certain TVs. It is possible. The market's not that great for that kind of stuff, but it's not out of the question. And uh, I'll see if some kind of scrapper wants to take those. Or a repair man is what I really intended until I dropped it and broke it side off of it. Okay, that's gonna wrap it up. Uh, I've taken like eight or nine dollars of tips out of here. I appreciate people tip me. I uh, got a few thanks. The five dollar tip, I appreciate that. I remember the five dollar bill in there. Uh, Took records, tambourine, booties, shop light. Oh, that's a long time ago. I think we've doubled back on this thing somehow. Uh, saw you on the scooter. We grabbed a tent. I've read that one before too. Uh, shoot. Hi from Venita, Oklahoma. Took a pair of shoes. Um, Somehow this thing has got flip-flopped, I think. That's old stuff there. Huh? Maybe no one wrote on it. Just one person wrote on it. Maybe that's really... Oh, yeah. Then tied, up, tied it up a bit. <sighs> that's old stuff. It's not old stuff. I guess there's only one more, one one thing on there. Let's see. Uh, now I messed it up. <laughs> uh, shoot. Okay. Oh, I think I see the problem. We got to the end of it. Oh, wait a second. Came by, got in town. Uh, things was empty. I apologize if it be empty. My eyes are getting bad. <laughs> Have watched all of your videos and enjoy watching them since my near fatal bike accident two years ago. Take care, Alex. Batesville area. Alex from Batesville area. And I appreciate you watching, Alex. Left $15 tip. Shoot, I appreciate that. I think someone might have snatched that up. <laughs> um, came by, took candles. Oh, I took the candlestick. Thanks for getting that candlestick out of here. 
And tissue cover. Tissue cover still around right here a long time too. Left two dollar thirty five cent tip. Appreciate that. Uh, came Shane came and got me from something. Let's see, I don't have this bleeding through. I can't read it. Uh, Seattle, Washington. Okay, appreciate that, Seattle. In army buddy, something who got out. What's cool being there? Shane is a big fan of yours from Georgia. Georgia and Washington hooking up. It looks like. Appreciate that. They gave me some pens. Appreciate. The, oh yeah, appreciate the black pens. Okay. Let's see. Came by, didn't take anything. Left a dollar. Shara, Shara. Appreciate the dollar for nothing. <laughs> I was thinking about maybe when I stock this thing up, I'll let it sit for like a week before I publish the video. That sound like a good idea. What do you think? That will give people coming off the interstate a good chance to get stuff as well as the local people. Joplin, Missouri. Took shorts and jewelry. Left two dollars. Thank you. Um, I need to get something else besides this booklet because it's getting confusing. I apologize if I missed anyone's note. Came by, took Oakley case, left five dollars and some change. Appreciate that. Thank you for being cool, Ashley, Ernie, and Abigail. Siloam. Appreciate that. Siloam. And then uh, I think I might just get rid of this little book and go to a bigger deal where we can keep track of stuff. Uh, nothing here. All gone. Sorry about that. Got the red coat. Thanks. Enjoy the program. Appreciate that. Tom, Vera. From Florida. There's the Floridas. Yeah, I need to get rid of this little spiral book. It's, if people don't get confused, I'm confusing myself on where, it's, where, where, we're, where the new ones are at. Okay. There's a couple pages left on it. There's uh, one, two, three, three empty pages on the back of it. So uh, let's see. I'm confusing myself too. <laughs> Put those empty ones there like that. I'll just uh, sit it down like this. There's dust and bugs flopping off the door. Okay, so if you come in off the interstate and you're from out of town, don't forget to write in your your home state where you live. Okay, now the video's over. I sure appreciate you watching. Like I said, this wouldn't be possible without you viewers generating ad revenue for me by watching these videos. So uh grateful real grateful for you guys watching i need to make my thumbnail so we'll turn this light up well maybe as always thanks for watching how about i take the camera off my head and actually focus things center things frame them up let's see let's see how do I do that? I can't go like that. <laughs> How about like that? That's not bad. Okay, now the video's over. Well, except for this clip. Interstate 49, Johnson Mill Boulevard, exit, exit 69. You gotta go east on Johnson Mill Boulevard. Johnson Mill. Take a right on Wilkerson at the Easy Mart convenience store. There it is. 
Johnson Mini Storage. 6004 Wilkerson and Johnson. That's unit number 81. So it's Interstate 49, exit 69, Johnson Mill Boulevard. Hang it right on Main Drive. Hang it right on Wilkerson. 6004 Wilkerson. Found a Superman pin. You got a little tidied up a little bit here. There he goes.